Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you about my recent learning experience at this workshop I attended online at La Galeria Roja. It was taught by Michael Kane, who has worked on some pretty sweet projects like Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse. He was also the art director for the award-winning short film, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. The workshop was almost all about digital painting, and Mike gave us great tips on color perception, lighting, perspective, and composition arrangement. The online workshop was organized by La Galeria Roja, which is located in Sevilla, Spain. The organization was established in 2012 with a focus on providing events, exhibitions, and workshops. So over the past decade, they have organized various workshops, including illustration, painting, drawing, and calligraphy, both online and in person. The workshop lasted for three days and sessions were split into two each day. One from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. and from 8.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. based in Madrid time, Spain. From my personal experience, it was honestly kind of intense due to the time difference. However, the best part was that all the assignments were recorded and available online. So we could just go back and rewatch them whenever we wanted. Plus, even after the workshop was over, we had access to the recordings for up to 20 days. During the workshop, we used Google Meet as our main learning platform, but I did notice that the video quality was a bit pixelated at times. I'm not sure if this was because of the streaming settings or my internet connection or maybe even just my screen resolution. But yeah, this just made it a bit hard for me to see all the small details of the painting demos and paint overs, including the strokes and colors. Luckily, right after the paintovers, Mike would upload the Photoshop file to our designated Google Drive, which was super helpful. I learned a lot by watching his Photoshop process layer by layer and tried to incorporate it into my own workflow. The class had a pleasant and relaxed atmosphere. At the start, Mike shared his artistic journey, which was truly inspiring to witness his progress over last decade. He noted that he is actually 90% self-taught, which honestly gave me hope that I too can hopefully break into the industry. The workload for the course was quite manageable, and the best part was that we had the option of in-class assignment reviews and paintovers. I was able to complete at least three paintings by the end of the, of the course, which was honestly already a great achievement for me. Prior to the workshop, I took it upon myself to prepare for the event in order just to feel less intimidated and overwhelmed. I actually have not painted seriously or drawn seriously in the past maybe three years uh, it's just kind of like an on and off thing so that's why i decided to watch um, mike's painting tutorial on youtube to have a better idea of what to expect during the workshop and honestly this made me feel more relaxed and just ready to get the most out of it If you're an artist who wants to get better at painting outdoors, understanding light and color, and picking up some tips and tricks, this workshop would be great for you. It's not just for painters either, I think. If you're into illustrations or concept art, I do believe Mike's approach could be really helpful for you too. 
On a difficulty scale of 1 to 5, I would give this workshop a 3. Although I would encourage beginners to participate, those without much experience in digital painting or have a basic knowledge of color and light might find it slightly challenging. Nevertheless, I still would recommend a class for those looking to improve regardless of their skills and learn the philosophy behind painting simple. Mike is an excellent and gentle teacher who creates a relaxing and inspiring classroom environment. I think Google Meet is an awesome tool for creating slide presentations, but I do think there's still room for improvement when it comes to their streaming quality. The biggest challenge for me was dealing with the time zone difference. The workshop went on from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., which really messed up my sleep schedule and left me feeling pretty sluggish every day. I wouldn't recommend it for health reasons, but since I had more time, I was able to manage it with a few sacrifices along the way. So this concludes my video. I hope you guys liked it, uh, enjoyed seeing my progress, my process struggles as well um, especially you know just learning within three three days and six hours per day and having a time zone difference it was from my experience it was quite intense because of my sleep schedule but yeah it was still very inspiring and i feel like it was a like a something really worth it for in my own personal experience um that is because i just really want to be my goal is to be a visual development artist uh, working in hopefully in feature films in the future let's see where where that leads but just seeing you know just someone who is in the industry and just learn seeing their workflow learning their ways and especially seeing their progress uh, artistic journey from you know when they were still a, kind of like a artist baby <laughs> until they become into a, a more professional almost godlike artist <laughs> you know it kind of reminds me that you know these are my idols are still human they're humans and that this art thing is just a journey as well and it'll just take a lot of a lot of time it might take a few years but you know it's it's still possible to reach your goals hopefully for me in the future but yeah this was just really uh truly an, an inspiring experience for me so yeah just want to thank la galeria roja and mike mccain so yeah guys thank you again for watching and do let me know if this is the type of content you guys want to see in the future more of in the future um yeah leave a comment or leave it a like whatever i don't know how this works this is my first time so yeah till next time thank you and goodbye